Hello, welcome to my channel, The V8 Hooligan. So if you've been following my series, if you haven't, go check them out. So I was doing a wheel repair series and a few other things, but it's 2020. That's all I got to say about that. But uh, we ended up having an unexpected move, so a lot of my filming has been put off. And I apologize. But I have been able to get these guys painted. Let's take these out here. So if you caught my uh, last video about the wheel repair series, these rings were very corroded. Oh yeah, I gotta do a review on that. So this has been working well. Anyways, back to my point. So I did get these guys painted. So these were all corroded and nasty. I'll do a little flashback on a split screen. So this is them now. And I really, really wanted to get these painted, but with the move and with everything else and winter coming early, yeah. So I got my tire, tire sensors. This is that thing that came in the mail and I said you guys weren't supposed to see it yet. So these are the tire pressure sensors I got off Amazon. I've seen good reviews, so I got that. And I also got these lugs that I refinished, so they match this now. So that's gonna look nice on there. Because these are all corroded to hell, these are all corroded to hell, but now they look good. So I'm gonna be doing that. There'll be a lot more videos when we're all settled in after we move. I'm really excited and grateful for the great big jump in my subscriber numbers. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. So if you haven't, like and subscribe. Video's not over yet, but you know I'm very grateful to see that people are finding these videos useful. And I got a lot more exhaust videos coming up. I know there was comments saying, you know, I don't want to hear you blabbing. I want to hear the exhaust. So I get it. I am doing a one year review and it's mostly sounds. There's clips of me talking, but it's mostly sounds comparing to my earlier filming to now. So that's in the works. All right, so I am looking for the right rear to slap on the right front and I scribbled on these somewhere. Right, ah, uh, you can't see it. Kinda, right rear. So you're gonna be going on the front. All right. I got all these loose. Now I'm gonna do check this bad boy up. After I put them on, you can see that rust there, but it's just from the inside of the inside of this thing. Freak me out. Get it all torqued back up. Those new rings look pretty damn cool. Alright, got the tires all flopped over. I miss this look. This is a look that I I don't I like both looks I guess. But, oh, I just like how it looks. So as you can see, the rings that I did, the wheels are dirty, but the rings and the lug nuts look pretty nice compared to how they did before. I was a little bit worried about the, the textured look. So I was going to top up the air, and I'll be getting new, new rubbers on there in, next week. All right, 
right, so these 22s are gonna be going away in storage. There's my painting booth I'm gonna put away for now. It's up at the new place. Just gonna store them underneath into the porch here, so. Yeah, so I'll get that put away. So one thing I did notice is that these crawled up the new driveway so easy. So easy. One thing I did notice here, so these, these are the tracks on the 22, or yeah, 22 is right here. 22s, and this is just fresh from the, the 18. Look at that. So that, compared to the biting on the 22s, so this 18's there, but the 22s are right here. 18s. Look at that grabbing power. Nice. I'm still thinking about removing that rear block, give it that pre-runner look. I don't know if that's douchey, let me know. You know, today I'm going to be picking up tires for the uh, Silverado here. So we got to make a trip down to Canadian Tire. So we're going to be leaving here. So it's going to take like hour, hour and a bit to get to Squamish from here. So that's the closest Canadian Tire. Well, you guys remember when, uh, when I left, it was raining. It was snowing. So I still have a little ways to go yet, but thankfully these deer tracks will have some uh, decent meat on them, so I'm totally fine. I'm just worried about other drivers and their lack of winter tires, so off we go. All right, so we made it into Squamish. It's more rainy here than... Uh, Passing through Whistler, so it gets uh, snowy, then it turns slushy, then it turns icy, now it's rainy, so they don't allow filming inside here, so I'm just going to head in, grab the tires, and then uh, grab a few things and leave. So it's supposed to be by the door. Let's see three. Uh, nope, that's not done. I guess I just gotta wait. Alright, there we go. Got them all loaded up. Two seventy-five, sixty-five, eighteen. Now that's quite a bit of difference. These are still okay on the roads right now. These bad boys, brand new. Look at that. Nice. Alright, so I got these all loaded up here. Unloaded, I mean. It's gonna compare them here. So it's gonna squish down. Not by much. But you can see the difference in the tread. So that's four years of summer and winter use. Good wear, I would say. Minus when I went uh, lower air pressure. Lower air pressure to have a little bit of a softer ride. They started wearing funny. So that's my own bad. But other than that, I mean, these bad boys last a long time. And look at that. Look at that beef on there. See, that's what I like. So I was going to go with the uh, two, because these are 275, 65, or 18s. I was going to go for a 33. So that would have been a, what, 275, 70. But I don't know. People online did it, but it said you can't put it on a 9-inch wheel the biggest one you could do is like eight and a half and i have 18 by nine so people said you can stretch them but i wasn't really sure i was going to want to do that so take a look at the front so 
Look at that. Nice. Stay there. Don't need your rolling, rolling down and taking off downhill. Yes, look at that. Looks nice. So yeah, that's four years, summer, winter. These brand new, brand new babies aren't going to be on for another week or so. November 10th is the appointment I got to get these put on. So kind of leads me to my next point. I maybe buy an entire machine. That way I can get it done on my own time. You know, save some cash after like four or five changeovers from the Jeep and this. And if I switch up my tires, hey, I can change it myself. So anyways, that's what I was thinking. So I can hear a nice truck going by. So anyways, that's my plan there. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you next week. It's getting a little ridiculous. I need you a little conspicuous. Ever since I raised my fist. Uh -huh. And clearly you can handle less. Raw and delirious. Living man's fabulous. Black hoodie, ripped jeans and J's with the swishes. Hair been long away. But you look better than your bitches. Cold brew drinking. Smoke fish eating. Frowned upon heathen. I was savage.